Friends, we are witnessing remarkable times. The world is abuzz with news that has sent ripples through every corner of the globe. From Jerusalem, the holy city, comes word of an extraordinary event, something truly awe-inspiring. Can you believe it? Witnesses claim to have seen Jesus himself bathed in divine light on the Mount of Olives. We've all heard stories, read scriptures, and held on to faith. But this news, this is something different. This is tangible. This is real. People from all walks of life, believers and non-believers alike, stood in awe and wonder. They witnessed a spectacle that has redefined faith for millions around the world. The world is watching, friends. Hearts are stirring. This is a moment in history that will be debated, dissected, and cherished for generations to come. But for those who believe, for those who feel the presence of the divine in their lives, this news resonates on a deeper level. It's a confirmation of our faith, a testament to the power of hope, and a reminder that with God, all things are possible. Picture yourself there, friends. The sun is setting, casting a warm glow over the ancient city of Jerusalem. The sky is awash with shades of orange, pink, and gold, creating a stunning backdrop for what is about to happen. The ancient walls of the city seem to glow with a timeless beauty, as if they too are anticipating the miraculous event that is about to unfold. The air is thick with anticipation. Thousands have gathered on the slopes of the Mount of Olives, drawn by rumors and whispers of a miracle. Families, friends, and strangers stand shoulder to shoulder, their faces turned towards the heavens, waiting with bated breath. The atmosphere is electric, charged with a sense of expectancy and hope. Conversations are hushed, and every eye is fixed on the horizon. Then, it begins. A hush falls over the crowd. A brilliant light, like a thousand suns, erupts in the sky. The light is so intense, so pure, that it seems to pierce through the very fabric of reality. It bathes the entire landscape in a radiant glow, casting long shadows and illuminating every face with an otherworldly brilliance. The crowd gasps in unison, their eyes wide with wonder and awe. And there, standing majestically, is a figure radiating love and compassion. Witnesses say, it was Jesus, just as he is depicted in the Gospels, his loving gaze sweeping over the crowd. His presence is both commanding and gentle, a beacon of hope and love in a world often filled with darkness. His robes shimmer in the golden light, and his eyes seem to hold the wisdom of the ages. But that's not all. Angelic figures, their wings shimmering in the golden light, descended from the heavens. They move with a grace and elegance that is almost beyond human comprehension, their very presence exuding a sense of peace and serenity. The crowd watches in silent reverence as these celestial beings make their way towards them. They moved among the people, offering words of comfort, peace, and hope. Their voices are soft and melodic, like a gentle breeze rustling through the leaves. They touch the hearts of those they encounter, bringing solace to the weary and lifting the spirits of the downtrodden. Each interaction is a moment of pure, unadulterated grace, a reminder of the divine love that surrounds us all. Can you imagine the feeling, the overwhelming sense of love and acceptance that must have filled the air? Faces are illuminated with expressions of pure joy and reverence. Tears of happiness stream down cheeks, and hands are clasped in prayer and gratitude. The collective emotion of the crowd is palpable, a testament to the profound impact of this miraculous event. The world stood still in that moment. The worries and anxieties of daily life seemed to melt away, replaced by a profound sense of peace and wonder. Time itself seemed to pause, allowing everyone to fully immerse themselves in the divine presence that enveloped them. It was a moment of unity, where all differences were forgotten and only love and compassion remained. This was a moment of pure, unadulterated grace, a glimpse into the divine realm that is usually hidden from our eyes. It was a reminder of the beauty and wonder that exists beyond our everyday lives, a testament to the power of faith and the enduring strength of the human spirit. As the light slowly faded and the angels ascended back to the heavens, the crowd was left with a sense of awe and gratitude, forever changed by the experience. News of this miraculous event spread like wildfire. It was as if the world had been waiting for something extraordinary to break the monotony of everyday life. 
What started as quiet whispers among the witnesses quickly turned into a global sensation. The initial murmurs of disbelief and awe soon grew louder, echoing through the streets of Jerusalem and beyond. Social media exploded with images, videos, and first-hand accounts of the event. Hashtags related to the miracle trended worldwide, and people from different corners of the globe shared their thoughts and reactions. News channels interrupted their regular programming to bring the world live footage from Jerusalem. Reporters on the ground provided continuous updates, capturing the raw emotions and reactions of the people present. Skeptics scoffed, of course. They always do. Debates erupted in living rooms, cafes, and online forums, with some dismissing the event as a hoax or a mass hallucination. But the testimonies kept pouring in, each one more compelling than the last. Eyewitnesses described their experiences with such vivid detail that it became increasingly difficult to dismiss their accounts. Doctors, lawyers, teachers, everyday people from all walks of life shared their stories with a conviction that was impossible to ignore. Their diverse backgrounds lent credibility to the phenomenon, making it harder for skeptics to brush off. And then, something remarkable happened. The collective curiosity and intrigue began to transcend skepticism. The world began to listen. People who had never paid much attention to such events found themselves captivated by the unfolding story. People who had never given much thought to faith before found themselves drawn to the stories, the images, the sheer improbability of it all. Could it be true? The question lingered in the minds of many, sparking deep conversations and reflections. Could this be the miracle the world had been waiting for? The global conversation shifted. Discussions about the event began to dominate social gatherings, news segments, and even academic debates. Suddenly, faith, hope, and the possibility of the divine were front-page news. The event had rekindled a sense of wonder and possibility in a world often dominated by cynicism and doubt. The event in Jerusalem ignited a spark of something profound in the hearts of people around the world, a longing for something more, something greater than themselves. It was as if a collective yearning for meaning and connection had been awakened, uniting people across cultures and continents in a shared sense of awe and hope. Prophetic Echoes, The Second Coming For those who cherish the Christian faith, this event holds immense significance. For generations we have read about Christ's second coming, the day he will return in glory to establish his kingdom on earth. Could this be the moment? Could this be the dawn of that glorious prophecy's fulfillment? The Bible speaks of signs and wonders that will herald the Lord's return. While we must be cautious not to jump to conclusions, we cannot ignore the striking similarities between the events in Jerusalem and the descriptions in Scripture. The timing, the location, the sheer scale of the event, it all suggests something extraordinary is unfolding before our eyes. Naturally, there will be debate and disagreement. Theologians and scholars will spend years analyzing the meaning of this event. But for many believers, there is a profound sense that we are witnessing something truly historic, something that will forever alter the course of human history. A tapestry of faith, shared hope across religions, the most extraordinary aspect of this event is its universal resonance. It attracts individuals from various walks of life, different parts of the globe, and diverse religious backgrounds. The sighting in Jerusalem becomes a central point where different beliefs intersect, weaving a unique tapestry of faith and hope. While the sighting holds deep significance for Christians, it also profoundly touches people of other faiths, especially our Muslim brothers and sisters. This shared moment acts as a bridge, linking different religious traditions and nurturing a sense of unity and mutual respect. Muslims also revere Jesus as a prophet, a messenger of God, and anticipate his return. In Islam, Jesus, known as Isa, occupies an important place. He is honored not only as a prophet but also as a symbol of hope and divine intervention. Islamic tradition narrates that Isa, the Arabic name for Jesus, will descend from heaven near the Day of Judgment. This belief is deeply rooted in Islamic eschatology and highlights the shared narratives between Christianity and Islam. He will vanquish the Antichrist, establish justice on earth, and rule with compassion and mercy. This vision of a just and compassionate leader is a powerful symbol that resonates across religious boundaries, offering a glimpse of a world where peace and justice prevail. The parallels between the Christian and Islamic perspectives on Jesus' return are striking, 
and serve as a powerful reminder of the common ground that unites us. These shared beliefs emphasize the interconnectedness of our spiritual traditions and the universal themes that run through them. This shared belief in Jesus' return is a powerful testament to the interconnectedness of humanity. It underscores the idea that, despite our differences, we are all part of a larger human family, bound together by our common hopes and aspirations. It reminds us that despite our differences in culture, language, and religious expression, we are all united by our shared humanity and our longing for a better world. This longing transcends religious boundaries and speaks to a universal desire for peace, justice, and the triumph of good over evil. The event in Jerusalem transcends religious boundaries and speaks to a universal yearning for peace, justice, and the triumph of good over evil. It is a powerful reminder that, at our core, we all share the same dreams and aspirations, and that by coming together, we can create a world where these dreams become a reality.